Good evening and welcome back to GeoGuessr. I am Modi Aparandis and I have Elzarath here. Rejoice. Fixer here. Greetings. And Tulkus. Every time. <laughs> uh, we're back for another two minute timed challenge. Uh, the link for this seed is down in the description below. If you want to play along with us and post your scores, we'd be greatly appreciated. It's a lot more fun with you guys playing along with us. Uh, everybody clear on the rules. Tell us need a refresher. Alzareth, anybody? No. I'm sure, good. Brody, refresh us. Okay, so it's GeoGuessr. You have to guess your geos. That's Thank all. You. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Alright. Um let's start a new one before I make any more weird comments. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Hey everybody, how's it going? Last uh, episode we came in third, I think it was. Yeah. It was a decent score. It wasn't fantastic. All right, this is this is a photographer. This is Alan Beebe. And where are we at? This looks like there's marshlands here. This looks like Louisiana. I'm gonna go with Louisiana as a as a quick one. Either that or Florida. Let's see. Nothing on the shoes. God, wouldn't wouldn't this be horrible if I'm way off? Now that's the sun. It's way to the south. But these aren't warm climate or uh, cold climate trees. Louisiana is a good guess. I'm going with Louisiana. Um, I don't. There's a lot of houses here, so there's probably a, a decent road. I don't think there's people, at least there's not structural housing out, out here in these marshlands. I don't think. New Orleans. Hmm. Let's see. It's a wildlife area. See, I don't think there's any roads here. Here's this. Maybe let's go right there. Whoa. I selected... There we go. That right there could be a, a seawall, I suppose. A levee. I, I like it. I think I'm okay. We'll go with it. Four seconds left. Survey says, no whammies. All right. Anybody Not in bad. the single digits? No? No. no. Okay. Anybody in the double digits? Double digits for what? Points or kilometers? Points, points wise. I don't. I didn't, I didn't know what to go with here at all. I went with North Brazil. Uh, oh, yeah. I didn't. Oh, better to go off. It did. It did have. It did. I did mention Everglades at one point, and was thinking about maybe Florida, but um, that wouldn't have been I've never too been much to better. The Everglades. So it looked too like brown to be the Everglades to me. For, I always think of very green for the Everglades. But uh, fourteen thirty-eight was my score here. Elsewhere, Way better how'd you do? One hundred and sixty-nine points. Ooh. Holy cow. I guess Fixer has a leg up on this somehow. Wow. Yeah. Yikes. I I I was thinking like, oh, marshlands, like Louisiana and stuff like that, but I was like, that, those trees don't look like like Louisiana or anything like that. Yeah, I those trees I don't recognize those. Yeah. And I've never been to the Everglades, but that still doesn't look like it. Like pictures I've seen or anything like that. It's really odd. And the name gave us nothing to go on. Yeah, Alan ba Beebe or whatever, baby. Beeb. Yeah. Baby. Well, Alan Beeb is an American Beebs. name. There was yeah. a football player with that name. His He pronounced it BB. I assumed it, that was it. All right. Uh, Fixer, how did you do? Well, my first thought was was the Louisiana um, marshes and whatnot, the wetlands. I just couldn't really find a spot in Louisiana I liked. I actually crossed my mind to go to Florida, but I stuck with Louisiana and got 2502. Nice, nice. score. Very nice. And Tulkus, how'd you do? I guess the east coast of Florida actually exactly horizontal to the actual place, so that's cool. We've got 2531. Very, nice. Very good Beautiful. score, guys. Fantastic. All right, round two. At least two somebody was in. right. <laughs> yeah, at least somebody got closer than I did. And uh, Elzerath here. Uh, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Good start, good start. I never, never really thought about that place in Florida, or I, I didn't know it existed, I guess. West Arm Narrows. 
That doesn't feel like America, does it? Sucker Creek Road! Well, that does feel like America. Okay. So... Maybe Northern America, I guess. Let's see... Oh, was that another sign? I saw another sign. Harmony Point Road. Wow, these are very... Very soft and gentle names. This is definitely Midwest. What was that? Shoe Swap Road? Alright, well that one's a little different. Ontario! Okay. We'll go with up here. What was that? Stop the highway. Okay. I need a city. Give me a city, Ontario. Those native names there. I keep on clicking just past the signs, damn it. Gideon Road. I need a city. I don't want any more roads. City, please. I think, um... Let's go up here more. It's probably gonna kill me. Second guesses have always killed me in this game. I don't know why I do it. Douglas Road, Chiman Weeks Road. Alright, I'm good with it. Oh, yeah. Very nice. All right, cool. I was actually able to find something this time around. Um, I was in the wrong province because I saw the French on one of the signs here. So I went with Quebec. But uh, I was not too far off, actually. It was uh, 2,926 2, points. So that's pretty good. Elzareth, um, uh, how'd you do? I was 91.73 kilometers away. Wow. I got 3,297 points. I couldn't quite find... The sucker road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, saw that I was like, oh, that should be on a map. But I couldn't quite find it. I was looking around, but I got close and I was like, it is in Ontario because I found a sign that said Ontario on it. So, yeah, I guessed in Ontario. Then I started moving it down towards Toronto because, of course, the French. I wanted to get closer to uh, Quebec. So, yeah. That's not exactly that far away. No, it's pretty good. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Making up for that uh, first round a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that, that that brought you back around for sure here. Uh, Fixer, how'd you do? Well, um, my first guess was like right above London, um, Ontario. I saw the Ontario sign as well. And I've actually been to Sarnia in London, Ontario. I've been there. And that was my first guess. And I thought, well, this this is more remote than, than London. So I went north um, up by the French River Provincial Park. 53 kilometers away, and I got 39.23. Holy crap. Nice. Wow. Man, I thought I was going to be good on this one, but now it's like, oh, man. Uh, Tulkas, how'd you do? So I also saw the French, but I uh, I spent my time. I figured that I wouldn't be able to find any more information other than it's just being in Quebec. So I just spent my time trying to find the river name, only it turns out that apparently like Google Maps is, is sparse with the river names. So I just like couldn't find anything. Got 24, 24. Still not too bad. We're all hanging in there. A couple, a couple of all-stars there, though. They're really, really good scores. Um, all right, so round three. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that was fantastic, guys. What a, what a guess. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're on the water on this dock or pier or whatever. Photographer, Fernando Duran. So we got a Latin name. Oh, can we get on the beach? Oh, we can get on the beach. All right. So what can I get? All right, this doesn't look like a super warm climate. This seems like summertime in a cold climate. Sun is to the south. Nope, it's to the north. This is north. That's not going to tell me much. That's like dead center in the sky. Oh, man. I'm going to get screwed. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what this is. 
This is gonna be Mexico or South America or something. Shoot. Merida? Merida? Why can't you go down the beach more, you jerk? I'm, I'm guessing Southern Mexico and I'm not uh, Brazil. I just the the vegetation doesn't make me say uh, think Brazil, but I I could be completely wrong on that. So this looks like um, a touristy beach, and I know Yucatan's got a lot of touristy places. So it's either this, it's either the Yucatan, or perhaps somewhere along this coast on Brazil. It's got to be one of the two. I don't think this is Spain at all. With the, where the sun is, Brazil would make more sense. I guess we'll see. Nope. Damn! Way off. Uh, uh, you timed right. that like perfectly with what I was saying. I said, hopefully we'll do. be right, and you just said, nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I could hear you. Uh, yeah, I was not right. I went with like the Yucatan Peninsula. I was thinking it was Gulf, Gulf Coast of Gulf Coast, Mexico here. Uh, not at all. Um, I got 1032 was my score here. Uh, how'd you do? 983. Oh, okay. Kind of in the Where similar did you area. Oh, okay. I guess cool. Florida. Ah, yeah. It kind of had a Gulf Coast uh, vibe to me, but it was different different little bay here, it looks like. The water altogether. is what threw me off, because that water doesn't look very Gulf Coasty. Because usually yeah. that's touted as being very blue, hmm. as opposed to brown. That's true, I guess. I don't know. The Gulf Coast by me is brown. Yeah, that's why I wasn't too sure. I, I mean, I think it depends on where you are. Of course, in it. you're a lot closer to, like, the pollutants. Yeah. <laughs> that's true, too. Fixer, how'd you do? I guess you can as well. I guess by uh, Merida. And okay, I yeah, that's 10, about right where I am. I, I, don't, I, I wanted to go Yucatan because it just seemed real touristy, but Brazil's got lots of touristy beaches, too, and... I was torn between the two, and I, I just guessed wrong. None of us looked at the sun. Well, the <laughs> sun didn't help. It was right at, at the at the peak. It was. It, it didn't help. I looked mm. at it. It didn't help. And supposedly we are in the middle of the ocean on this one. Tolka Hulka, how'd you do? Um. So I thought that the slanted, like the houses, slanted roofs, look European, and also the cars sort of. I don't know. I guess the uh, and also the name Fernando. I guessed the Mediterranean coast of Spain and got five forty. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ouch. All right. So we all did bad on that one. Let's never we speak did, of this again. Great. Yeah, let's just forget about this one yep. altogether, I think. All right, moving on. Three, two, one, go. Wow, am I lucky that everybody screwed up, huh? All right, photographer Peter West with a couple fancy characters after it. So, doesn't help. All right, so we got mountains. We can move. Let's. Oh, look at that little mud hut. Alright, let's see how far we can move. Wow, let's go. Oh, that's kind of scary looking. Alright, this looks cold. So, we're in a spot where it gets cold with mountains. Alright, anything uh, here, guys? Can you help me out? Nothing. Oh, this is another one that everyone's going to get screwed on. I mean, what is this? Is this the Dakotas? I mean, is this freaking Switzerland? You just don't know. There's a bike path. So it's close enough to civilization to warrant making a path. It's not in the middle of nowhere. And we got a bridge over a river. This is screwed, man. I, I don't know what to pick. Freaking Idaho. I'm going with Idaho. I, I, I kind of picture Idaho to be more deserty, but I think northern Idaho, Idaho has a, a, a lot of mountainous green in it. What's this? Wow. Oh, my stomach's rumbling. This is a tough one, guys. Everyone's going to get screwed. There might be one guy who who's, who gets lucky and gets it right, but uh, I think we're all pretty screwed. Oh, there's a tent there. Alright, keeping the fingers crossed. What do we see? Oh my god. 
Okay, okay. All right. Um, did anybody get inside the Adobe? Yeah. All right, what? Guys. You were able to get inside? Yes, yes, yes. It's what? a little like missionary, uh... like little chapel thing. Damn it. Yeah. I, yeah. I did not pretty, see that. Pretty I wasn't pretty sure weird. whether it was an arche- arche- uh, archaeological thing or what, but. Yeah, I'm not sure. But it, I got inside of it a couple times. Uh, I, I I just looked at the name here and guessed Norway. Um, so I got 2217 as my score. Oh, man, that's it. You had to get inside. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Elzer, I thought you do. I guess Germany because the landscape looked kind of like rural Germany. But I got 1985. All right, not too bad. And uh, Fixer, how'd that you do? hut looked German. Oh. Like ancient German to me, so yeah. I apparently, don't, I don't know. I don't, I, I'm not sure that hut was ancient. That just looked like a mud hut or something. Yeah, right. That was not ancient. You never know. I don't know. Inside I mean, of it, it looked pretty, pretty uh, like it'd been remodeled. Maybe it had a nice. Uh, Look like it'd been the floor. Restored. The floor was yeah, maybe restored somehow. Yeah, exactly. Or built up so it's like a little bit more secure. Um, so that it not going to fall in that self. Uh, that like it isn't actually a millennial old hut, but it's a hut that like built like what the people long ago might have built. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's the idea. All right. Well, I I screwed up. I mean, I I couldn't. I, I, all I could come up with it's definitely a cold area with mountains. I went with freaking northern Idaho. <laughs> Eleven twenty five. I didn't see any names. I had the name. His last name is West. I didn't know I could go inside the hut. I would have wanted to see inside the hut. There there are umlauts in that name though, or something. Yeah. What? There were umlauts in the, the end of the, the guy's name. There was total umlauts in that guy's name. It's like West Stu. Yep. Yeah. I just figured to- that totally. was a, it was a mess up because he had a <laughs> he had a um an English first name as well. True. Yeah. There's definitely umlauts in that name. And also, if you if you mess around with the pictures enough, you end up in uh, sunset randomly too. It was very very terrible setup for this this series of images here. Yeah. Uh, Tulkis, how'd you do? Um, I just thought that I could not go far northern enough. It just looked like Scotland, so I just guessed northern Norway and got twenty six forty three. Good lord! Nice, very nice. <laughs> wow, I score. All right, so we're on round four or five. Yep, I don't know. Four or five here. I don't know. We'll find out <laughs> here in a second. Just yes. close. Three, two, one, go! All right, round five, last round. Oh, that was awful. Emergency fuel shut off. We're on the water. This is pretty much any lake in America. Um, I still got decent points, even though my guess was awful there. So if the algorithm does make uh, difficulty a factor, that probably explains my my points. I want to go that way. I guess I can't. Can I go over here? No, you're not going to stick me. George Randy base or bass is the guy no fishing all right so maybe one of these boats will have a flag or a name wayfarer oh come on you couldn't come up with a better name for your boat this is any water in america oh what was that tell damn it one of these boats has to have a clue oh it's the wanderer still can't read that there's an American flag but where in America nobody knows <gasps> I can go down here why did I not see that before Oh, these probably have some kind of state license tag on them. Oh, man. I wish I'd noticed that earlier. Wahoo. Tackle hardware. I don't see any state. Damn it. All right. Screw it. Wisconsin. Good enough for me. All right. Not enough time there. I could have got there, I think. Uh, I went with the... Which part of Florida is the Panhandle? Is it the actual, like, peninsula part, or is it the part, like, by Pensacola and Tallahassee and stuff like that? Pensacola, Tallahassee. Okay, so that's the Panhandle. So that's where I went. I was over by Pensacola, basically. Uh, I got 2205. It is just, like, generic marina in the U.S. to me, and I couldn't... 
I couldn't get any information from the license plates because I didn't recognize them. I kept trying to yeah, look for the right one, either. and they were just too blurred for me to see the name of the place. So I ended up with 2102. I just guessed randomly in the U.S. Nice. Yeah, that's uh, what fiction? I was saying. Yeah, that's what I was saying in mine, too. It's like this is like the generic lake on a generic marina in the United States. And I didn't notice until the very end that you can walk down the docks next to the boats, like inside, Ooh. inside the marina. Oh, so, that far. yeah, you can actually walk down in there. So I was looking for tags on the boats themselves, perhaps like a, a state license or something like that. You know, I was looking at the cars, and I, I guess Wisconsin. I got twenty thirty six. Yeah, that definitely was Wisconsin. Um. Yeah, I was I had the same exact thought of looking at the, the uh, little registrations on these the boats. That's what I meant. I didn't have enough time. Like I feel like if I kept looking at that, it could have got there. But uh, yeah, just not. And I ran out of time randomly there. Um, tell us how'd you do? Well, I, I took the opportunity during our outro here to uh, return to the big fancy hut thing from last round. It looks cool. Yeah, but um, I went around and I on the only thing I could note that I saw was a uh, state flag. And I thought, I, I was I was confused, but I thought the state flag might have looked like the flag of Texas. I mean, landscape didn't look like Texas, obviously, but I thought that maybe I was just cray. So I just guessed Texas, and I got 1997, and yeah. Wow. See, I didn't see the state flag. I saw the, the U.S. flag, but I couldn't find any other state flags. Hmm. Oh, well, on, on the pole yeah, below I didn't see the either. state flag, it was like a, like a red, white, and blue flag. I, I'm not sure if there was a tech flag. I thought it looked like a flag that might have been Texas. I don't even know, man. Fair enough. I have no prediction whatsoever of all the final scores here. We're all over the map here this time. Yeah. Uh, so let's go to it and find out. All right. I did not break 10,000 here again. I got 98.18 this time around. Well, I have fallen from my high horse, and I'm down to 85.36. Because of Oof. two, well, two really bad guesses and one sort of bad guess. Uh, Fixer? Despite my jackup on Brazil and Norway, I got 10,624. Nice. And Tulkus. You guessed Idaho. How how did you win with a guess of Idaho? <laughs> well, because of my Ontario guess, foo. Man. Yep, that's well, what it well, is. Well, I, I, I got 10,135 and you're me. Hell yeah, new wow. champion. <laughs> Fixer is the new weekly champion. Congratulations, sir. How are you going to spend your victory? Well, I'm not going to Disneyland. Oh, I'm, that's I'm what you're to blueberries. Say. I'm not <laughs> sure at this point any of us could <laughs> find Disneyland with our scores. Oh, my gosh. All right. Uh, well, thank you guys for watching once again. Post your scores in the comments down below if you played along with us. We do appreciate that quite a bit. And uh, we'll see you guys back next time for more. Bye. Bye.